गुड डे एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पोएम फोर अ थिंग ऑफ ब्यूटी रिटन बाय जॉन कीट्स स्टूडेंट्स यू नो कीट्स वॉज अ वर्शिपर ऑफ ब्यूटी ब्यूटी वॉज हिज रिलीजन हिज इमेजिनेशन वॉज एट इट्स बेस्ट इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ब्यूटी लेट्स रीड अबाउट हिम जॉन कीट्स ही वॉज बॉर्न इन सेवनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव इन द सिटी ऑफ लंडन He was a British romantic poet although trained to be a surgeon Keats decided to devote himself wholly to poetry he wanted to spend his whole life for poetry Keats secret his power to sway and delight the readers lies primarily in his gift for perceiving the world and living his moods and aspirations in terms of language so his language mood and desires used in the poem proves that he has understood the word he is aware of the word and has got the power to involve all the readers in his poem and makes them feel happy so after reading his poem we all are swayed along with the poem we are carried away with his poetry the following is an excerpt from his poem endymion a poetic romance the poem is based on a greek legend in which endymion a beautiful young shepherd and poet who lived on mount latmus had a vision of cynthia the moon goddess the enchanted youth resolved to seek her out and so wandered away through the forest and down under the sea so the poem which we are going to read today it is taken from his poem endymion a poetic romance the poet is based on a greek legend greek story in which endymion was a beautiful young shepherd and poet now shepherd is a person who looks after the sheep who tends the sheep so he was a shepherd who lived on mount latmus and once he had seen cynthia the moon goddess after seeing her he fell in love with her and was so determined to find her that he journeyed through the forest and down under the sea in search of her let's discuss before you read what pleasure does a beautiful thing give us are beautiful things worth treasuring a beautiful thing fills our heart with pleasure and joy makes us feel positive and hopeful it takes away all the negativity which is the cause of depression and unhappiness now second question is are beautiful things worth treasuring of course they are worth treasuring we should keep them safe and sound we should memorize them as they are the gift of god given to man to make him happy and also help to overcome the pain and difficulties of his life now coming to the poem let's start the poem a thing of beauty is a joy forever its loveliness increases it will never pass into nothingness now a thing of beauty is a joy forever now a beautiful thing provides us endless joy eternal and everlasting joy the joy which never ends now its loveliness increases now its beauty keeps on increasing the more we see the beautiful thing its loveliness increases many fold which means the joy multiplies so each time we visualize a thing of beauty we see a beautiful thing it leaves an indelible imprint on our mind screen indelible imprint means it leaves permanent mark on our mind screen it will never pass into nothingness pass into nothingness now it will never pass into nothingness it means the loveliness of the beautiful thing never fades away it never becomes dim 
its value is never devalued it never loveliness never finishes so the imprint it leaves on our mind cannot be erased coming to the next but will keep the boar quiet for us no but will keep the boar quiet for us and sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing boar now what does boar mean boar is a comfortable and peaceful place where man can relax and forget all his troubles just as the shade of the tree gives comfort to the travelers during hot season so whenever we are in the company of beautiful thing whenever we spend time with the beautiful thing we it soothes us it makes us feel comfortable and a sleep full of sweet dreams so when we watch beautiful thing its imprints are preserved in our memory and provide us sound sleep which is full of sweet dreams now next is and health and quiet breathing quiet breathing means we breathe comfortably effortlessly so these memories refresh us the memories of the beautiful thing refresh us and make make us breathe easy and comfortable rather makes our breathing easy and comfortable and we enjoy sound health so coming to the next one therefore on every morrow now here there's a word morrow therefore on every morrow are we reading a flowery band now every morrow morrow here means every next day every morning reading means weaving and flowery band means band of flowers string of flowers you might have seen the garland so the poet says every morning we weave a string of flowers which binds us to the earth now here flowery band now flowery band what does it show it is uh, here the poet has used metaphor now as we put one after the other flower in the string to make a garland in the same way we are memorizing or preserving each and every beautiful memory in our mind we are preserving each and every beautiful memory in our mind and it makes us feel happy whenever we are sad so these beautiful memories inspire us to make strong connection with nature and mother earth bind us to the earth means make our connection strong with the earth and help us to live a peaceful and happy life away from the darkness and pain coming to the next spite of despondence now here spite no spite means the evil thoughts which come in our mind our intentions to harm others and despondence means disappointments so spite of despondence no poet wants to say that man often suffers pain and loss of hope because of his wrong intention to harm others to cheat others and he is disappointed and dejected he feels dejections many a times he has to experience dejections many a times of the inhuman dearth dearth means in the absence of lack of and noble natures means good qualities of the inhuman dearth of noble natures now basically man is selfish and there are only few people who possess good qualities good character and show generosity towards others so man becomes inhuman 
in simple words we can say he behaves like an animal and suffers a lot in the absence of noble nature noble nature means in the absence of good qualities man suffers a lot and behaves like a animal of the gloomy days next is of the gloomy days gloomy days means sad days the days of unhappiness sad days the days when he experience unhappiness of all the health unhealthy and over darkened ways it means wrong ways so sad days which we experience in our life when we follow the wrong path in our life or when we search for the evil ways in the journey of life when we move on the wrong track we have to suffer a lot so made for our searching made for our searching means we are always in search of wrong paths wrong ways and therefore we have to suffer a lot coming to the next line yes in spite of all now this word yes shows that now the poet's tone is going to be positive the poet the tone of the poet goes positive with this word yes because he has found some solution yes in spite of all in spite of all means in spite of all these ill wills evil thoughts disappointments in spite of lack of noble natures in spite of the sad days in spite of the wrong path which we adopt in our life so in spite of all this some shape of beauty some shape of beauty moves away some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirits now here the poet says that in spite of all these causes of sufferings hopelessness pain which are mentioned above in spite of all this we can enjoy and feel happiness in our life how if we sit in the lap of nature if we enjoy beautiful things the lonely we can feel happiness in our life now here there is a word pall this is the pall pall means covering and dark spirits sorry this is dark spirits dark spirits and pall pall is the covering and dark spirits means he wants to say that our spirits are dark because they are covered with the ill thoughts our bad intentions that's why our spirits have become dark it means we are unhappy in our life because of our wrong paths because of our because of our wrong intentions so beauty in any form sitting in the lap of nature and enjoying will ultimately help you to enjoy life and we all will feel happy now for today this much is enough and remaining part of the poem we will cover in the next video thank you